Good morning, post-apocalyptia. You're watching another Mega Monday. Thanks for checking out Retro again. So today, we are going to do Crash Man and Heat Man. Uh, earlier I said that Crash Man stage is my least favorite, I think. I didn't like it. Actually, it's not really that bad. I figured out the trick to it. So, it's really it's never bad anyway, like, at least difficulty-wise, but I found it tedious. But I have figured out um, some ways to make it easier, so we're going to do that. And I actually like this song very much. I don't know why. Um, it seems like the sort of song that should be irritating. But it's not. <laughs> At least to me. It reminds me of something. It must have been based on uh, some 80s song. I do have full out 3 on the brain today. I don't know why it's so, um, hence the post apocalyptic reference if anyone played that game and recognizes where it's from. You listen to the uh, radio on the Pip Boy. One of my favorite games, probably, at least uh, on the 360. All of a lot of fun. Glitchy, but fun. Because that's just about any Bethesda game. Um, this is my complaint with Mega Man 2, by the way. There's, there's tight dealies right there. But something told me, hey, why don't you leave, use that uh, leaf shield that you were talking shit about earlier? And see if you can get some, uh, some value out of it. And there we go. It's very good for blocking those whatever the hell they are. I did rehearse this a little bit, so... Oh, don't want that. So it's not going to be quite as bad as the previous um, playthroughs. And I'm glad I did. Because... The um, NES Game Atlas lies to you horribly. In fact, so horribly that I thought I had, like, a bug or something going on. Because it tells you to, given this leaf shield will work out here, it tells you to, uh, now uh, we're gonna fall. We're not. It tells you that is, uh, I'm glad I got that on film. That was pretty bad in this. <laughs> anyway, the, the game atlas tells you lies. It tells you to use Crash Man's weapon on Heat Man. Don't do that. Just don't. It's a terrible idea. And... All it's going to do is waste your time and or get you killed. Use Bubble Man's weapon on Heat Man. I thought my game was glitched out. I was using the Crash Bomber, whatever the hell that thing's called, until I was blue on the face on him. And it wasn't working, and I thought, you know, could it be? Could, could it be that the, the NES Game Atlas is wrong? The, the wizards in, in the uh, NES Game Atlas uh, think tank screwed up. I couldn't believe it. And, you know, they did. They were dead wrong. And speaking of dead, I'm just going to take the death here. Because I, I have a sliver of life. And Airman's weapon. If you use it at all. You use up, like, a lot of energy. So, whatever. Just go ahead and do this. In fact, I might... 
I might look up the, um, I'll, I'll give it a look before we start He-Man stage. Very, super effective there, even on hard. Um, I don't know how many hits you would have taken on normal, but what was that, like three or four hits? Yeah, I'll look up the, uh, what they say in the game atlas, just to give you guys an idea of how wrong they are and demonstrate it. I'm not playing on the original hardware because, uh, one, I don't have the capture card, and two, my Mega Man 2 part is damaged, or maybe it's a bug that was um, present in Mega Man 2, I'm not sure, but for whatever reason, uh, when I get to the boss of the first Wily stage, the game has like a 50% chance of crashing. It really is 50-50. And the cart's always been like that ever since I got it many years ago. So, you know, once um, alternatives became available, I used them to play this game. Put it that way. Because of that problem. Especially when you consider that, well, that stage isn't difficult, but it's a little bit of a pain in the ass to um, get to the end of it. Because you have to use the items 2 and 3, 1, 2, and 3. You have to use them very strategically. So we're going to bypass this. This is something I'm, I was never sure if this is something I liked about this game or hated about it. Is that you can really bypass a lot of these annoying um, disappearing block puzzles and stuff like that if you have the items. Oh. wrong with me today. Oh, shit. I was getting it earlier. So I don't know. There we go. And I'm gonna use the crash bomb. I I actually don't like the crash man weapon at all. Um, well, you'll find out probably in the next video. You actually need it on boss in uh, Wily stages, and it's it's one of those things where you can actually totally fail if you either run out of it or use it wrong or you know whatever, or if you just have bad luck. I don't quite remember, <laughs> but you you can actually like feel the boss. So, I don't like it. I have very bad memories of it. Put it that way. Oh, damn it. <laughs> That's what I get for being greedy. I actually, um, made that jump. Off screen. I know I say that a lot. <laughs> but, it's... It's true, that's how things work. If you ever, uh, you know, if you're watching, if you do your own videos, or if you ever start, you'll, you'll notice that, you know, sometimes you catch something really cool. But, a lot of times you'll do, like, the awesome shit off-screen. And then when it's time to record, you don't, you, you know, screw up, or... Whatever. Maybe it's just me, because I am still kind of new at this. And maybe it's just my nerves. Who knows? Who cares? Hey, I get that. That's a, it must see like a rule in Mega Man. Whenever you need like an extra life, 
for energy, it doesn't drop from enemies. But, you know, like when you start the game and you have, like, full lives, full energy and, and all that, you get tons of it. Here we go. And, um, you know, I did, I did collect those energies just so I could avoid that puzzle. <laughs> I don't even know, I don't even think I ever did it. I'm not going to lie. I think I always cheesed my way through it with the, um... Oh, there you go. Here. You can get stuck in that block if you're not careful. I always would cheese my way through it with the item because it's... It's annoying. Not gonna do it. Okay, so... This time I'm not going to be a greedy bastard. Try to get the... Watch him a fuck it. No, it's not there anyway. It's gonna be a good boy and cross the thing. Now, under here, we do have a problem. We have a problematic enemy. Okay, that works. Bastard. Um, I did mention that I suck with the uh, leaf shield, so I, I um, resolved to find uses for it and be good with it, and it's pretty damn useful. So I will, you know, I will demonstrate the uh, the fail that is this bit of advice, as we have damage incoming. See, nothing. Nothing except tears and disappointment. Oh, it looks like I'm gonna die here. <laughs> oh, figures. Um, but you know, it was worth it to show you guys. In fact, I'll, I'll read the passage. It should only take a second to find it. I, I have a bunch of bookmarks because I've been meaning to do a video on this. Yeah, so avoid Heat Man's flames and jump out of the way as he blazes across the chamber. That's good advice. Then hit him with the crash bomber and collect the atomic fire. So, that's not good or useful and like any ter interpretation of a bird. You know, I thought, oh, well, you know, maybe I have to use it at certain times. Maybe that's, maybe that's what they meant. But now, now, you, you listen to them and you'll get your shit wrecked. And of course, you know, the bubble weapon, you know, what was that? Like three or four hits. On difficult. again. And I, I actually might do a video on what's coming up here, because it seems to be a theme in Mega Man games, is this cross-eyed doctor like, you know, what is, what's up with that? If anyone's played Mega Man 8 and seen the, uh, and seen the, the cutscenes and stuff, like he's this cross-eyed buffoon in that game. You know, he says Dr. Wowie. Like, I can't, I don't, I can't conceive it, like, is that, maybe that's like a Japanese thing? You know, maybe that's, and we interpreted it incorrectly when they translated it, I, I don't know. Maybe they just had bad voice actors. Why is he cross-eyed here? Maybe it's like an artistic, I, I don't know, but he looks like a cross-eyed nitwit. <laughs> in this game and 
and 8 at least. Oddly enough, he doesn't look like that in the Mega Man X games when he appears um, in the pods. I, I don't know. And, you know, I think we'll see uh, some more portraits of him in at least 3 or 4. I'm not sure, but I'll keep my eyes open and I'll look into the mystery that is Dr. Light. Of course, the eyebrow-waggling Dr. Wily. Yeah, I love that. Because I have to say, this is probably one of the most iconic of his fortresses. I guess it's because it's the first one that you could actually see, because you didn't... I don't think it was depicted in one. No, it wasn't. Take a second to listen to this awesome music. It's one of my favorite songs from the series. Yeah, so, Wood Shield, not a total piece of shit. The song, you know, awesome. Um, it's the sort of thing that really gets you psyched up for this final battle. Which we have zero lives left. Now, I'm trying to remember here. I think we have a little more of this area. Yeah. I want to keep everything topped off, like weapon energy wise. I'm hoping I can do this without getting the continue screen. I mean, I can just cheese it out on the emulator. You know, use a save state. I can do that, why not? I do use save states on emulators. I don't necessarily think they're cheating. But it does depend on the context. Like if I'm trying to practice something, or it's a situation where I would have just left my console on as a kid, you know, because you have to go, you know, to the supermarket or something with your parents or do your homework or you know whatever, or even as an adult, I mean, you know, you gotta go get get some lunch or something. You know, I just leave the console. So in situations like that, I don't, I don't think it's too bad. Or if you're trying to learn something, you know, it's, I think I just mentioned that. <laughs> but um, it's my excellent short-term memory. Okay, I think we're topped off enough. I was hoping to get a little energy, but they don't love me. Um, I I don't do that. Here. Because, yeah, you know, it's not. I don't think that's what people necessarily want to see. I mean, I have seen YouTubers save state, you know, very purposely and kind of ironically. You know, it's funny. I've seen it done. Um, you know, if that's how you like to play, that's fine. I'm not. I'm not coming down on anyone about that, because I've done it myself, you know, sometimes, you know, you want to see the end of that game, and you can't get it, get the hang of it, well, you know, you might save state through, but I always try to play honestly as possible, because you, you're not going to become better, um, through cheating. And that's really my, always been my goal, is to improve and become a better gamer. So let's see if we can take him out. 
don't know what weapons affect it. Probably be for this. And, uh, what do we need next? I, mean, I think we need Paul. I know they're going to hit me. Like, I know what they do. They always get me, though. Here we go. I hate this part. This is what I was complaining about earlier. I did it pretty smoothly, though, so... Happy about that. And here we come to... Probably the, one of the coolest bosses out of any Nintendo game. So we're going to challenge this guy. And yeah, I guess it might not be a bug since it doesn't crash in the enemy. I mean, that doesn't necessarily mean anything. Oh! As I get my, uh... Get my shit wrecked by a dragon. I like that effect how the, um... The air weapon bounces... Well, it doesn't bounce, it dissipates on the shields. Um, uh, hopefully I'll have enough. Item one. Is it was it item one? I think so. I wasn't paying attention to my life here. I should have used the energy tank. You live, you learn. No, I'm not gonna let this guy get us. And there he goes. See you later, bro. See you later, bro. Rodinator. Rohan Solo. Okay, here we go. So, this time I'm going to try not to get my shit wrecked by that giant robotic dragon. I think my favorite um, part about that dragon is that he teleports in. I, I never really noticed that when I was younger. You gotta be careful here too, because if you go too fast, you'll die. Fire just like vicious. Oh, that's a good feeling when you beat him. It really is. Uh, he's not really particularly difficult, but like I say, he can kill you pretty easily if you if you screw up. So, there we have it. I think that's, uh, enough for this episode. Probably a rather longish episode, really. And, uh, I'll save some more for next week. 
Um, I don't know how I'm gonna approach this area. I guess I guess we'll just fight along until we die. But I'm going to just figure that out. So thank you so much for watching. I just you know I think it's awesome that people take the time to do these videos and you know, keep doing more. Some more on the way. So. Until next time, good luck and happy gaming!